I could go on for hours. You know, and it's interesting because on the one hand, society tells us as women we're not supposed to talk about money because it's crass and unattractive. On the other hand, society gives us these messages that we get from even the time that we're little girls, a myth. Um, boys are better at math than girls are. Uh, well, that's not true. Girls, I hate to tell you gentlemen, we make better grades than you do in all subjects, uh, math included. We make as good or better grades. Um, that investing is really a manly pursuit. And the messages we get from the investing industry uh, in which it's all about winning and beating the market and picking the winners, in which CNBC, which we all love, looks a lot like ESPN, and the industry symbol's a bull, a phallic symbol. So we get the message that this just isn't for us as women, investing is for men. However, when women invest, we tend to outperform men. We tend to invest better with a longer term perspective than men do. So there are any range, we're too risk averse. We hear that all the time, that feels right, we're too risk averse. Uh, no. We're, no, we're risk aware. We want to understand risk before we take it. Once we understand it, which the investing industry typically does a sort of poor job of telling us, we, we take on as much risk as the guys do, and then we don't tend to panic as much during downturns. So those are a few of them I could go on and on and on, but I will stop. <laughs>